Valerie. Mark Ronson and Amy Winehouse, of course. It's BBC Hereford and Worcester. It's Malcolm Boyden of a Wednesday afternoon. Eight minutes past twelve. So, yes, let's talk about your dogs, shall we? A report from the charity Guide Dogs, great charity, has found that our over-pampered pooches are following their owners. They've piled on the pounds during the pandemic. Lots of peas in that sentence, but you get the drill, don't you? Now, research concludes that the average dog has put on 3.3 kilograms, almost half a stone in the last 12 months. And there's an indication that it could be us blokes to blame, you know. It seems that it's the men who are admitting that their dogs are gaining weight. It's the treats, you see. Mm? Got nothing to do, have you? You think, oh, give the dog a treat. Don't worry, though. If you're in a muddle with this... Then help is at hand. The guide dogs have a plan to help. Dr Helen Whiteside is head of research at Guide Dogs. She joins us now. Dr Helen, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for having me today. Not at all. It's always a pleasure. Um, so talk us through these finding, what findings. What's going on, Helen? Um, well, yeah, we, we recently commissioned a piece of research and we found out that pet owners are reporting that their dogs, unfortunately, have put on a little bit of weight over lockdown um, with the average dog putting on 3.3 kilos. And, and, and as you've said, um, male owners seem to report the biggest weight gains um, rather than female owners. Is this a surprise, do you think? Because surely during lockdown we've been walking our dogs more than ever so they've been getting the exercise but it looks as if they've also been getting more than their fair share of the treats as well is that it um, yeah i think it's probably a combination of factors so actually a, a quarter of people said that they weren't really sure how much exercise their dog actually needed to stay healthy um, but again, a third of people believed that their weight increase in their dogs was due to them being at home a little bit more often and probably giving them a few too many yeah. treats. And like humans, unfortunately, um, if we don't keep up the exercise and we eat too much food, the dogs will kind of start to pile on the pounds. Uh, but there is hope, as a lot of people have said, they're looking forward to getting out once spring has sprung and more of the restrictions have eased. So hopefully um, that will help both humans and dogs who may have put on a little bit of weight over um, the pandemic period to sort of work off those pounds. And at Guide Dogs, you've turned this into an opportunity to raise some much needed funds, which is great. And you've also issued some top tips for us for getting our dogs back to health. We'll talk about the fundraising in a moment. Tell us about some of the tips first, if you will. Oh, definitely. So what I would say, if, if anyone is worried about their dog's weight, it's always worth getting a quick check in with your vet um, to get them accurately weighed and ask for a body conditioning score. Just so you know whether your dog is, is the right weight or is, is slightly over or slightly underweight. Another really good piece of advice is to actually weigh your dog's food. So I know a lot of people will kind of have one of those scoops that they just kind of scoop a bit of food out and think that looks about the same. But actually, we found that it can quite inaccurate and really you need to be weighing it and if you look at the back of a lot of the packets it will tell you based on your dog's kind of size and breed what is the, the right amount of food they should be having and of course as with humans again there's also the opportunity to make some healthy swaps we love to spoil our dogs don't we but it, moderation is key and also making clever so maybe try something like giving them a little bit of like carrot instead of maybe the more calorific treats and then of course extra um, it's really, really important for dogs, both physically and for their mental health, that they have enough exercise and get to be active. This means running around, walking at fast pace, playing. Um, but obviously, just make, make sure you're careful if you're going out in hot weather and be mindful of their fitness level. If they have put on a little bit of weight, we might need to build them up gradually to longer walks. Um, and as you said, uh, if you are interested in putting on a walk with your pal, why not sign up to um, Guide Dogs Walk Your Socks Off, which is a fundraising challenge that we've just started, which will help get walking into your daily routine, um, help fundraise some for Guide Dogs, and hopefully um, help people and their pooches <laughs> get out and get exercise. I like the sound of that, the Walk Your Socks Off challenge, because I would imagine the Guide Dogs like loads of other charities have found it pretty tough fundraising during lockdown, and it's a chance for us to, A, keep our dogs in trim but be raise a bit of money for the great work you do helen 
Absolutely. And yeah, I, I, we are very grateful for those that have continued to support us through this period. And as you say, it's been a very difficult time for people in charities. So um, yeah, if people would like to do something fun, get a bit of fit, um, it's definitely worth signing up to what stops off, which would be on our website if people want to find more information about that. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll tell you what, we've just got our hands on at home. Myself and my wife have bought Ted the dog, who's a Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> and he's 14, so he's getting on a bit, so we've got to wait, watch his weight. We bought him one of those puzzle feeders. It's like a, a bowl. Well, you know what it's like, a bowl with bits sticking out, so he has to think his way around the food. Is that any good? Absolutely. Those, those are absolutely fabulous for them. So you might have dogs, some dogs, uh, my own included, like to eat their food, let's say, rather quickly. And so using these kind of sort of stuffed food toys or puzzle feeders is a really good way to help your dog's meal last. So it kind of it stops gulping their food down, which actually can cause some tummy problems. Yeah. And also it's really mentally stimulating for them. It really kind of stimulates their brain as well. So it, it's an all-round winner um, and hopefully keeps them from getting bored too. So, yeah, it's a great, great, great thing to have. <laughs> Good luck with the uh, challenge and the fundraiser for this. The Walk Your Socks Off Challenge, all the details are on the Guide Dogs website. And, uh, Dr. Helen, keep up the good work. It's lovely having you on the show this afternoon. Thank you so much for having us today. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so there you go. The ways to keep your dog fit and healthy. Get your pampered or over-pampered pooch back in trim. And maybe, if you fancy it, a chance to raise a bit of money for guide dogs as well. That's Dr. Helen Whiteside there, the head of research at Guide Dogs. Quarter past twelve it is. We love to 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 it is